this essentially you know uh, finishes the basic fundamentals that i want to cover but i just wanted to take a few minutes to introduce the the fabrication aspects of it so far we have only uh, focused on the physical and the say, uh, no, the understanding part of it right the theoretical aspects of it we have not talked about practical aspects of uh, semiconductors so i just thought i'll take a few minutes to talk about that so if you look at semiconductors right we talked about silicon but if you wonder you know, i don't know if you wondered but it actually is made from glass sorry silica sand okay so if you go to beaches you see lots of sand right it has huge amounts of silicon in it it is sio2 right sand is simply silica which is sio2 so you add some carbon and then you do some chemical reactions and purify it so it can be you know purified to level of few parts per billion or even more so essentially what we do is we start with sand we can actually purify it and get what is known as metallurgical grade silicon and then purify it further to get electronic grade and so on and then this sort of electronic grade silicon egs is taken and then it is heated up in a chamber you melt it and then put a small seed crystal and then there are multiple processes to actually make uh, pure silicon and eventually you melt it and then you draw that so that a perfect single crystal of silicon forms and that is what is shown here you know this is called as a silicon ingot ingot as such means it's like a cylindrical uh, cylinder of silicon pure crystalline silicon i don't know if some of you have studied this in your high school like if you want to form perfect crystals you can take a solution of a sample or whatever in a chemical and then put a single small piece of that and then put tie it to a thread and then you pull it up as you pull it up very 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 slowly you see that a crystal forms around it okay. something similar is done in this case for silicon so you make this silicon like this and then in the fabrication facilities you dice it you know you cut it into thin thin wafers okay. you start with the circular ringgit and then you cut it and then you form wafers okay so these pictures are taken from this website of a professor in waterloo you can go and look at that he has a course on nano fabrication so uh, there are two dimensions you know what we are going to do in this course is essentially talk about the physics and theoretical aspects of it but there's a huge number of uh, innovations done to actually make these things practical practical okay so these are uh, these are the these are captured in uh, you know these are taught in a vlsi technology kind of a course so uh, that will not be required in the undergraduate level but suppose if you are more interested you can actually look at that okay so uh, the entire process of actually making semiconductor devices is a very fascinating thing you know i just mentioned that you make it from sand so i would urge you to go and look at youtube there is a video like i don't want to play it now but chip manufacturing how microchips are made so there is a video from infineon take a look at this video and it will show it's about 10 minute video it will show you so these things are actually done in very very you know sophisticated environments called called as clean rooms okay and these clean rooms are extremely expensive places so they have you know if you want to set up a clean room right now at the state of the art we require about 5 to 8 billion dollars it's a huge amount of money you know it's so expensive that you know very very few companies are there in the world that can actually make it one of the companies is intel which is the you know the one that makes our processors right core to view and xeon and so on all that is made by intel there are a few other companies which are called as uh, contract manufacturers which are like tsmc and global foundries and so on there are uh, lot of samsung all of these companies make you know these uh, devices so they make things like nvidia and qualcomm chips okay, nvidia graphic cards right we have those and the qualcomm uh, chips that go into your mobile phones and all are made by this uh, foundries contract manufacturers so this industry is a very very fascinating uh, story i mean how technologically we are able to make devices on a you know uh, on a single chip you are having billions of transistors right that's one of the greatest fascinating stories of uh, technological innovation so you will get a glimpse of it when you see this video you will get a glimpse of this so uh, i don't want to really you know i cannot possibly tell you all the details in a, a course like this so it requires a course on its own real estate technology so i would urge you to go and look at the video you will see that these chips are made in very you know i said uh, clean rooms and these clean rooms are so pure i mean they are like you know maybe 1000 times cleaner than your hospital you know the best hospitals 
you know generally when we have hospitals we talk about you know, they are supposed to be very very uh, they are supposed to have less contamination right so that the patients don't catch in infections but if you look at the clean rooms they'll be like you know thousand times cleaner than a hospital the best oper operating theater the reason is even a tiny amount of impurity in the semiconductors can actually kill the performance of a device so we spend a lot of money to actually run a you know, wafers in a clean room so uh, any 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 contamination is going to kill it okay so you actually see that you know you'll see people are actually covered in complete uh, hoods you know like a clean room dressing uh, gown which covers every aspect of it except the eyes you know you have uh, extreme precautions which are taken to make sure that the environment is very clean so much so that actually at the cutting edge you know the the processes there's a huge amount of automation you will see in the video that a lot of these wafers are being moved, moved around automatically everything is automated so that there is minimum amount of human intervention because human beings are essentially contaminants in the semiconductor manufacturing process okay so uh, please take a look i'm i'm going to finish a little early today but you know i'll urge you, urge you to just you know go and take a look at all these uh, uh, this video especially and uh, we will be ready to talk about pn junctions in the next class okay so thank you very much i'll stop here and we'll continue in the next week